100th anniversary of Maryland basketball. One of the legendary superstars is Joe Smith. Go ahead. What does it mean to be back here? You know, to see all these former players, all the Maryland greats and stuff to celebrate together. I mean, it means a lot. It means a lot. A lot of these guys, you know, we don't get to see too often and spend too much time with. So it means a lot to be able to come back to an event like this, you know, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the um, basketball program. So that means a lot. That means a lot. March, this calendar turns March. What, what does your mind go to? I imagine some special memories. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, March uh, for us, uh, you know, especially my fre my freshman year. You know, March was a big month for us to, to kind of make our push going into uh, to kind of get off get off the bubble, get up, get out get off the bubble, and kind of you know make it to the tournament. My my, my first year, second year, March was you know this pretty much the same thing. You know, we're just trying trying to get into that rhythm going into going into the tournament and, and trying to find that stride. And I think you know as a group, you know, we got, we, we we found ways to win down the stretch in March. Uh, a lot, a lot. I mean, young team, young talent. I mean, uh, a lot of people coming into the season didn't expect too much from us and uh, the same situation that they were in. You know, they came out su and surprising a lot of people the same way we did. So, I mean, it's, it, it reminds me a lot of what we went through and a lot of uh, uh, how we surprised a lot of people. I mean, the way they're playing. I mean, uh, I mean, they had a little, uh, a little bump. It hit a little bump in the road, but I think lately they've been getting things back, back in order, and they've been playing well lately. So I mean, it, it, it's all about getting, getting that, um, building that momentum in March, and like you said, it, and, and taking it to the tournament. But you still have to finish off strong. The hardest thing. Um, I would say probably just uh, trying to uh, finish games. Pretty much finishing games is probably the hardest thing because that's something that you know only experience can really help you with. And then when you have a young team that, that uh, at, at, at this level that's not used to finishing games, then you know that could be a trouble. That could be a, a troubling issue at times. Every time someone brings up the Gary Williams era, it almost starts with the game at the Capitol Center where you took on Georgetown. What are your memories of taking on Othello Harrington that day? Uh, my first memory is how nervous I was going into that game. I mean, it was a big game. Uh, uh, I knew uh, the uh, Georgetown, you know, was, was the top ranked, one of the top ranked teams going into that season, and they had so much uh, veteran leadership on that team. And then with Othella uh, winning uh, Big East Rookie of the Year before and uh, the year, the season before, you know, uh, really, and then people really, like I said, were sleeping on us and really didn't know what to expect. It was a real, real nerve-wracking game. But uh, once the jump ball, once the ball went up, you know. It, we had some guys out there that, that, that really wanted it, and you know we, we really went after it. I'll ask you about one more of those basketball memories. You went to Duke. I think Billy Hahn might have been the coach that night, and you hit the last shot to beat Duke. Is that right? Yes, uh, tip in at the buzzer. Uh, Dwayne had a, uh, got the shot up on the, on the backboard for us, and uh, that's all we could ask for. You know, That's all we asked him for, just, just to get the shot up, and you know, I was in perfect position to tip it in. But it was a, it was a big game, great atmosphere. Coach Williams was sick with pneumonia at the time, so uh, God, like you said, Coach Hahn took over, and I think he was probably more nervous than the players, you know, going into that game. But it was a big win for us. You didn't see the highlight from a couple of weeks ago when they beat Iowa on the road. I didn't see the highlight. Oh, okay. <laughs> a similar situation. Point guard, uh, 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 Anthony made a drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's all. I mean in a situation like that, you when the guard penetrates, just get it up on the rim, and and you know you have so many guys trying to block the shot, go out the rebounds, and, and try to get themselves out of position. And all you have to do is just be there to, to tip it in. And fortunately, you know myself and you know that that's, that that happened. No, it's just a tip in. I wish it was a duck. <laughs> oh yes, no problem. You guys have a good day. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.